So, Dr. Gilbert, what work were you asked to do in connection with this case? So I was asked to review uh, medical records, radiographs, pictures, as well as testimonies and depositions related to Mr. Depp's finger injury. Okay. And to your understanding, what is Mr. Depp's explanation of how his finger was injured? He describes that he was in Australia and his right hand was over the side of a bar uh, when a vodka bottle was thrown at his hand, injuring his right middle finger. And he describes that the vodka bottle exploded. Are you aware of other explanations for that injury? Uh, there have been multiple other explanations, uh, but I think the, the one that was, was brought out was by Ms. Hurd, who uh, believed that he, Mr. Depp was holding a landline and have anger was uh, punching it against the wall, and this resulted in his right middle finger injury. Okay. Based on your review of the medical records um, and other documents in connection with Mr. Depp's finger injury, how would you describe the nature of the injury to Mr. Depp's finger? Well, the nature of the injury was uh, he had what we describe as a comminuted fracture of the distal phalanx, meaning there was a fracture of the tip of the finger, and comminuted meaning that there were multiple pieces. So this is some type of blunt force with a high mechanism of injury. He also sustained loss of the tissue along what's called the ulnar side of the finger towards the little finger. Uh, and this uh, appeared, uh, based upon my review of the pictures, to be some type of sharp laceration because it, it represented a clean edges of the wound. Can you take a look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 60? And pull up to go, go to page 3. And Dr. Gilbert, are you familiar with this document? Yes. And, and what is it? So these are two radiographs, x-rays of Mr. Depp's fingers finger, his middle finger. Okay. Um, um, sorry, just to stop you, but uh, Your Honor, may we publish this to the jury as a demonstrative? Any objection? No objection. All right, we'll identify it as 60 page 3 and publish to the jury. And Dr. Gilbert, sorry, sorry to cut you off oh, there. Okay. Can, can, you, can you just tell, tell the jury um, what we're looking at here in, so in this x-ray? Two x-rays of uh, Mr. Depp's right middle finger after the injury, and towards the tip of the finger, there's a fracture, uh, again, what I described as a comminuted fracture, meaning there are multiple pieces at the tip. There's also a transverse component to the fracture closer to the joint. In your view, what types of mechanisms can cause this sort of injury? So this is a a mechanism of injury that has high velocity or force, generally a crush type injury. A simple fall would not result in a comminute fracture such as is seen in these x-rays. And we, we're using the term comminuted fracture. Can we just define that quickly for us? So again, comminuted, and it's not particular to a finger, can, is, is a medical term for a fracture that has multiple fragments. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, could this injury have been sustained in the manner Mr. Depp described? I do believe so. And how might that work? How, how might a thrown vodka bottle produce an injury like this? So a vodka bottle, which is a hard object, uh, would have crushed the tip of the finger, resulting in the comminuted fracture. And in addition, as the vodka bottle broke, the uh, glass would have lacerated the finger, resulting in the soft tissue loss that was also seen with this injury. What's your assessment of the description of the cause of the injury offered by Ms. Hurd? <clears throat> I think that's highly unlikely. And why is that? Uh, because one, uh, in general, when a, an injury is caused by punching against a wall or a hard, hard object, 
it is extremely rare to see an injury to the tips of the fingers, which is seen with Mr. Depp's injury. Generally, you're holding something with a fist, and that in general leads to injuries most commonly of the knuckles here, um, or fractures of the metacarpals. We call these boxer fractures. Second most common after those would be injuries to these, but as you can see, if you're holding something and make, hitting against something, it is very unlikely that the tips of the fingers will be injured. In addition, just uh, taking into account the radiographs and the pictures of the injury, um, I would not believe that a, a blunt force, solely a blunt force against a, a wall would result in the soft tissue loss. What other injuries, if any, would you expect to see uh, on Mr. Depp's hand uh, if the injury had occurred as, as Ms. Heard described? So if you would have, if that were the cause of the injury, you would certainly, that would be a dorsally directed, so this is a dorsal in the back of the hand as opposed to the palmer side. So if you're punching against something, you would certainly expect an injury to the nail bed, and those are always seen in those type of injuries. If there is an injury to the tip of the finger, which again I said is rare. So you would see either a loss of the nail or blood underneath the nail called a subungual hematoma. In your review of the medical records, did you see any sign of anything like that? None whatsoever. In your view, is the injury can you tell? Can you explain to us exactly why you think the injury um, is consistent with Mr. Depp's description? Well, again, his hand—he describes his hand being held um, over a marble bar, which is a firm, uh, something firm, unyielding, and the bottle hit against the finger, so. Basically, the finger was crushed, resulting in, again, what I described as a comminuted fracture. And as Mr. Depp described, the bottle exploded. So uh, it's certainly reasonable that the, the glass that exploded as well uh, led to the soft tissue loss along the ulnar aspect of his finger. Now, did you observe the testimony of, of Dr. Uh, Richard Moore? Yes, I did. And he testified about Mr. Depp's finger injury as well. Correct. Right? Did you agree with Dr. Moore's testimony? Uh, certain parts of his testimony I did, yes. Okay. But not all of it. Focusing on the parts that you, well, first of all, why don't you tell us what you agree on? Well, I agreed in terms of his interpretation of, of the x-rays, um, saying that he had a comedy fracture and this was a, some type of high force injury. What did you disagree with? Well, I disagreed uh, with several things that he said. He first said that uh, he does not believe that the mechanism of injury could be, as described by Mr. Depp, holding the hand um, on the side of a marble bar uh, because he said it was all a Palmer injury. And there was a Palmer component to the injury, but I'm talking about the soft tissue loss, but there was also a dorsal, meaning the back of the finger. So the soft tissue loss was actually, if you looked at the pictures which were shown uh, when Dr. Moore testified, the, the injury goes like this. So it's, it's an angled or an oblique type injury. And there's no way that anybody could determine whether or not it was a Palmer directive force, meaning from the palm side, or a dorsally directive force. Uh, but certainly either are plausible. Okay. Anything else come to mind that you disagreed with? Uh, well, he also uh, described that this was definite, well, he thought that this was a pinching or what he described as an avulsion type injury. And that's referring to the soft tissue loss. Um, it, that's certainly possible, but if you look at the pictures that were shown uh, when he testified, the laceration looked fairly clean. There were clean edges. It was not jagged. And generally, when you have an avulsion or a pinch-type injury, you see a very irregular border to the skin. It's pinched off, you can imagine, as opposed to something that's cleaner that would be lacerated by, let's just say, a piece of glass or a knife or whatever. And, and that's more consistent with the pictures of Mr. Depp's injury. 
And we were using the term soft tissue loss. And just to make sure we're on the same page, can you just tell the jury quickly what you're referring to there? Right. So, so he, there were two, two components to this injury. One, the fracture of the bone. And two, he had loss of the, the, the soft tissues um, so that the bone was exposed. So that amputated part that was found at the bar. Now, you were saying that Dr. Moore testified that this was an avulsion and uh, meaning a pinching injury, right? Correct. Why do you believe it's more likely that it was a laceration? Well, again, I, I, in general, a pinch type injury results in one much more damage to the remaining tissue, but the remaining tissue is usually very irregular. The borders are jagged, and that's not what was depicted in the pictures. Dr. Moore also testified that he thought a vodka bottle might not have sufficient force to cause the injury here. Is that your understanding of his testimony? Correct. What's your response to that? Um, I, I certainly believe that a, a vodka bottle that was thrown from a distance against a hand that was resting on a marble bar or is more than sufficient uh, force to result in this fracture and soft tissue loss. Now, in, in looking at the medical records and the pictures of Mr. Depp's hand, what was the condition of his nail? There was no injury to the nail. And other than what you've already told us, how, how does that factor into your analysis, if at all, the fact that there was no injury to the nail? Well, it, it, it makes it highly unlikely that the mechanism of injury described by Ms. Hurd uh, resulted in this injury because you really... Would, would always see an injury to the nail and or nail bed. Do you have any opinion regarding the direction of the injury? Well, it, it's certainly based upon the soft tissue loss. It's an angled injury or what we would call a medically an oblique injury because the soft tissue loss is at an angle. He lost some of the tissue on the back of the finger as well as the palm side primarily along the palm side. But other than that, you can't make any assumptions. Um, unless you saw a videotape of this injury, no, nobody could tell you definitively what the direction of the injury was. Dr. Moore also commented on the absence of fragments of broken glass in Mr. Depp's injury. Uh, do you remember that? Yes, I do. And. How does the absence of glass fragments factor into your analysis? I, it really doesn't. Um, I've seen hundreds, if not probably at least 500 or, or more glass injuries. And I would say probably the majority, you don't see glass in, in these injuries. Um, it is much more common to see glass embedded in the wounds when you're talking about very fine glass. So if uh, to say a, a wine glass would explode or something of that nature where you get little tiny shards. But in general, when you have thick glass, such as you see in a bottle or, um, or a pane of glass, uh, you generally don't see, because they bake, break into bigger pieces and you generally don't see the glass. But um, you certainly can, but it's not surprising that you don't. Can you definitively state how this injury occurred? No, I, nobody can definitively state. I have no, no further questions, Your Honor. All right, cross-examination. 